Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing and touring you through the Lindbrook Stargazer Campground and RV Park near Tofield, Alberta, Canada. Stick around for this week's campground review. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by hitting the like, subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's campground review. Lindbrook Stargazer Campground and RV Park is a privately owned campground located near Toefield, Alberta, Canada. It's just a 30 minute drive east of Edmonton. The campground features 30 sites and two group sites. Each site includes 50, 30 or 15 amp power plus a picnic table and fire pit. Outhouses and garbage cans are located conveniently around the park. The sites were clean, generally private, and well treed. The roads were well maintained and the grass was cut nicely. Other amenities include a heated in-ground pool, playground, and a sand volleyball court. A small basketball game was located near the office. The office also sold ice, bins of firewood, and a selection of snacks and convenience items. A gas station is located within walking distance for other items of need. City water is provided for campers and there is one sandy dump on site. The campground also features this decorative pond and fountain, but there is no fishing. Here are the rates for the 2023 season. 50 amp pull through sites are $50 a night, 30 amp sites are $48 a night, and 15 amp sites are $45 a night. After September long weekend, the pool closes and prices decrease by $10 a night. There are also two group sites available. Group site A has six sites, with each costing $48 a night. Group site B has four sites, with each costing $48 a night. You must rent all of the sites in each group site if you're booking it for a group. If you're not staying with Lindbrook Stargazer Campground and RV Park, you can use the Sandy Dump for a $20 fee, and you can fill up your unit with water for $15. Overall, we really enjoyed our stay here at Lindbrook Stargazer Campground and RV Park. We'd probably come back here again. A definite highlight of it was the proximity to Edmonton, and we really liked the in-ground pool. It was an awesome way to cover, uh, to cool down on a hot day. But aside from the pool, there really wasn't that much to do here at Lindbrook Stargazer Campground. Um, like I mentioned, there was no additional walking trails, so really all of the places we had to walk or bike ride were just really around the main roads in the campground. Uh, there's no fish pond, there's no lake, um, so really this is the kind of place where you're going to hang out in your campsite and probably chill by the fire, cook a nice meal, or hang out with friends. If you're looking for something with a lot of activities, uh, you probably want to head somewhere else. But the nice thing about it is this is close to a lot of other things, right? So if you wanted to head out fishing, um, you know, there were a couple trout ponds around. Um, some of our friends went to Black Nugget Trout Pond, which was about 25 minutes away. Elk Island Park isn't too far away. And like I mentioned, Edmonton, Shore Park, they're also close locations. So if you want things to do, uh, you can always head into those locations and find stuff to do. Um, like I mentioned, this is a pretty relaxing campground with the amenities of the city, right? That's the main selling feature. That's the main reason why you would come here. Um, I thought that the fees were pretty standard for with what you get uh, for a powered site. Uh, it was nice that you could fill up with water pretty easily. One thing though that I would warn you is there is only one sandy dump lane. So when we were leaving in the morning for our stay, uh, we had a little bit of a lineup at the sandy dump. The other odd thing is usually when you're using a sandy dump at a campground, there's a fresh water hose that you can use to kind of clear out and rinse your, um, 
your wastewater pipe, right? Your hose. And there was no fresh water to rinse that out, which was kind of weird. So um, once I ran the black water tank out, I kind of flushed it out with the gray, but there was no clean water to rinse through. So that was maybe a little bit of a miss. Um, and like I said, a lot of campgrounds will also have two lanes where you can kind of drive by. This one was set up just on the main road. So even if you wanted to just bypass a trailer you didn't really have a lot of side road to be able to to kind of bypass it on so that was something as, as well to consider so when you're checking out uh, you definitely want to beat the rush and, and probably get out of there uh, before everyone else does otherwise you know expect to be in the lineup a little bit longer um, overall though like I said we like the campground we would probably consider coming back here to Stargazer uh, overall for like I said for the features the pool was a nice touch and for some of those kinds of things so um, as always though, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop them down below. I always take time to answer all the questions that come across uh, uh, there. So let me know if you have any questions I can help you out with. Uh, if you have any comments, also drop them below. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, taking that time to leave those comments. And like I mentioned earlier, I always respond to each and every one. Um, if you made it this far though, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if this was your first time here, and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please hit that subscribe, like, and bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.